Hello my fellow freedom builders and welcome back to the channel. As you might have noticed, uh, it has been a bit of a while since I made my last video and one of the reasons is that I've been very busy. I've been busy setting up our algo portfolio where we have the computers select the stocks for us after some very specific rules. And what I'm going to do in the video today is I'm going to walk you through the latest portfolio. You might also know that I have entered this eToro space here where it is possible to copy my trades. And right now, the portfolio is filled up with 22 stocks, I think it is. I'm going to go through them one by one today, very quickly, to see if they fulfill my normal trading rules, that you, uh, as you know from uh, TradingView over here. We're going to look at if they are trending and so on. And uh, maybe some of them are breaking my normal rules, but that is because an algorithm is a bit more fixed in, in the settings, of course. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go over here and uh, we're going to have a look at them. And as you know, my normal setup is that I want a good long term trend over here on the weekly chart. And we can see this when this turns green. That means that the RSI is above 50 and the compare it to relative strength the, where we compare it to uh, the, the index. In this case, it is SPY, the S&P 500. Um, we want that to be above its moving averages. So when both of these are correct, this turns green and that means we are in a green zone. And then normally I'm looking at my daily chart over here to see if we get some good bounces on the uh, on the 20 SMA. And as you can see here, the first stock is Walgreens. Uh, I should say they're not equal, equally weighted. The algorithm is also uh, weighing them differently. So it's not that I have just uh, one uh, that have split my portfolio up in 22 parts and then bought 22 stocks. They have different weighings as well, but that is something that the, uh, the algorithm is uh, detecting and deciding. Uh, I should also say that uh, this is because we are in a risk or uh, sorry risk on scenario right now. Um, the algorithm is also detecting when it is time to go risk off. Uh, there are several different uh, factors it is considering. There are some macroeconomic factors, but there are also some very interesting uh, rules about how predictable the market is. When chaos is uh, is moving into the market, when unpredictability is moving into the market, uh, it tends to go risk off and that means we're going into ETFs. So Walgreens is the first one. It is in green on a weekly chart and yes, we could have bought this. So the algorithm picked a very good stock here as for the trending part. Right now, the algorithm is not looking at fundamental stuff around the, the stock. This is purely a price based uh, thing. Now, the next one is Intel. And I should say that we bought this uh, just here around the, the 1st of April. So uh, I have not been in for the long trend here, but just uh, since 1st of April here. Let's see how we will do then. Intel, green zone, very good and bouncing nicely off its uh, 20 SMA. So everything looks good. Normally, I would put some drawings in here uh, like this and say, yes, it, it picked up speed here. But the thing is with trend line, uh, or with trend lines and channels is that um, it is very uh, subjective because depending on what I think of the market, I could find all sorts of different places to put this line on. So we can pretty much uh, get the results we want. And therefore, I, um, I normally do draw some trend lines. Uh, but when I do my analysis, I normally uh, use the uh, the normal regression channel because that is 100% automatic. And right now, Intel is definitely a candidate we could look for and you can take that into consideration. Now, remember, this uh, algo setup is based on my rules. So you should not just pick these stocks for yourself uh, just because my algo has picked them because then you would need to know when I made uh, an exit as well. So um, let's just have a go and look at them. Goldman Sachs. Definitely also in a good uptrend and you could say that it has been in a uh, in a little retracement here. We picked up the stock and uh, yeah, nobody knows if we are going to hold it for 14 days or three months or whatever. So we'll just uh, let it wiggle and get some breathing room. 
In this algorithm, there is no stop loss. So pretty much this Goldman Sachs or one of the other stocks could go to, yeah, a minus 50%. But that is one of the good things of having 22 stocks in your portfolio, meaning you're quite well diversified. Next one is Caterpillar. And Caterpillar is actually one of my personal favorites. Uh, as you can see right now, the trend is impeccable here. We could have gotten in uh, down here around 150 somewhere. And uh, as you might know from my infrastructure video the other day, I think Caterpillar is going to be one of the winners when or if Biden is uh, getting his uh, infrastructure plan through with two to three trillion dollars put straight into the US economy. I think Caterpillar will absolutely be one of the winners there. JP Morgan, uh, another financial stock here, has been having a bit of a sideways retracement here. But right now it is just leaning on the 20 SMA. And uh, well, there's nothing wrong with the trend here. We can easily draw a regression channel here. And you can see that statistics makes the uh, channel for us. And uh, that is a very valid channel, this one. We are right at the bottom of the channel. So there might be some room for some upwards movement. Applied Materials, also one of the stocks that I have been mentioning several times lately. And um, well, I might uh, mention here that I have started to put uh, some swing trades into my Building Freedom uh, Facebook site. I also put a link to that below so you can go in there and, and like the page if you want to. Uh, but as you can see here, once per day or so, I'm putting in a uh, uh, just a, a quick stock ticker, a trading view chart and some fundamentals here. And uh, that, uh, they are stocks I consider for my swing trading portfolio. I'm not giving any targets or stop losses or anything here. But if you want to see what I'm working with with my swing trading portfolio, you can get an idea in here. I try to put some candidates up every single day. And in there, you would also could have been able to find applied material, absolutely a stock I love and the trend is amazing. And as you can see, the algorithm is quite good at finding trending stocks. Now you might say, has it been trending for too long? Well, nobody knows and that is the essence of trend following that you're picking stocks that have uh, already gone up a lot and nobody knows if they'll continue. But it is a bit like a freight train where you are pretty sure they'll keep moving but it will be obvious as soon as they stop moving and then you can pick another freight train to jump onto. So applied material, absolutely one I would have bought. NXP semiconductors. Now semiconductors is the big thing these days because of the lack of semiconductors. I don't know if you have seen the, the whole debacle about the chips uh, missing. Some of the automakers are, uh, they have to, to reduce the production of cars with 100, 200,000 cars right now because they can't get the chips to put into the car. Uh, so semiconductors, definitely a good thing right now. But as you can see, our long-term system here actually started to tell us around uh, June last year that NXP semiconductors might be a thing to look at. That was around 110, 120, and right now we are about double. But we just ended it, so let's hope we can double again. We have Fortinet as well. And uh, as you can see, pretty much all of them are just straight up trend lines here. And uh, we are going for something with not too much volatility. But as you can see in a second, uh, there are a few candidates in here, or a few stocks I have bought that are not my normal setup, but absolutely fortunate. Uh, one I would have looked at normally. CDW here, um, definitely good uptrend, bouncing off the 20 SMA, some good uh, volume days here, where, where green volume days in a green uptrend on the weekly chart, no doubt. CDW, one you could consider for a trending trade here. Mohawk Industries, have a look at that trend. Uh, it is pretty much a trend where some factory making rulers they could just uh, make this their default settings for for the rulers what a nice trend going up down here from around 75 and up to 200 um being in a in a green trend here for uh, since around 120 so almost a double now and uh, we just entered it so let's hope the trend continues skywork solution also one many of you knows a bit more choppy on the daily chart here but still, looking at the weekly chart, we are in green zone and a bit of yellow, but uh, we are allowed to buy it, definitely. 
Limited brands, nice trend, nothing to say here, bouncing off the 20 SMA. And as you also know, normally when I buy here, uh, I look at the RSI uh, here on the daily chart and I'm looking at the 50 line. And many, many traders and investors when using the RSI are using the RSI as a, um, as a reversion tool. They are saying when it is up here, it is uh, overbought and down here it is oversold. And uh, well, you could say down here was oversold and it could have been bought here. But what I'm doing is I want it to be above the 50 line. And I also wanted to have a bit of a retracement and then some strength here. So I might have gotten into limited brands around here, maybe if I had found it um, by going through the stocks myself. So limited brands still a nice uptrend. KLA Corporation, a bit more messy also on the daily chart, but uh, the algorithm is programmed not to look too much at all of this sideways chop here and more at the longer term trends. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Deer and Co here. I also want to mention, I think the other day was it in my infrastructure uh, video, I think it was a uh, very, very nice uptrend. I'll have a look at this. Uh, I would have liked to enter that down here. Uh, I must have missed that, but it went into the green zone down here around 180 and right now more than a double. Very nice. And let's just uh, have the trend continue. Now, here is one of the stocks where we could say that I have uh, I've picked it or the Alco has picked a stock that I would normally not have picked. And uh, it is going to be exciting to see uh, how this one plays out because this is Baidu. And as you might know, it has been dropping quite a lot lately, but also it went up from down here around 80 and then went up to 350, 60 ish here. And then it has had a very steep drop. And you might think now, why on earth would the algorithm pick a stock that had a drop at, at 50 here and is actually not in the green zone. And I cannot, um, I cannot give you all the rules at the, um, at the stocks, but what we are looking at is we are looking at multiple different time frames, and we are lo looking at a lot of factors uh, on the technical setup. So uh, this actually do make sense for the algorithm. But normally, if I were looking through the stocks, I would not normally pick a stock here that went so violently below its 20 SMA. But let's look how it turns out. Next stock is let's see if we can make a shift. Um, Generac Holdings, also a bit messy, but above its 20 SMA and on the long term, a very good uptrend here. Uh, as you can see, it actually started giving us these green signals and we could buy down here around 60. And had we just followed the long term trend, we might actually have held it up to 330 here. So um, very nice trend and uh, let's just uh, have it at a five double again. That would be nice for my portfolio. Election Pharmaceuticals have a nice gap up here and then have been going a bit sideways, but the algos have picked it up. Not one I would normally pick up at the current state. I might have wanted it to go up a bit, then a bit of a retracement and showing some strength, but the algorithm is without emotions and therefore it has picked this one. ASML Holdings, a uh, very nice trend as well, going upwards a bit. Uh, I, I would personally personally have had a, a bit of a retracement to the 20 SMA and then a move up, but it is not me to decide here. Diamond Bank Energy, the FANG, um, well, it has been breaking, as you can see, a very, very long and steep downtrend here. Uh, since back in September 18 and it was down by 90% here and now it has actually started an uptrend. This would be one of the stocks that I could have had a look at here. It is in the green zone. It is trending nicely um, and um, I might not have picked it on my normal scan through the market. But uh, then again, the algor algorithm has a very good uh, history of, of making uh, above 20, 25% per year, actually since 20, uh, 2008. So um, let's see if uh, there isn't some truth in this pick as well. Then Discovery is again, one of the stocks that have been hit very uh, hardly here. And um, as far as I recall, uh, Discovery, one of the reasons why it dropped so 
violently was due to this um, debacle about the the hedge fund that had to uh, they they got a margin call and several banks have been in a lot of distress about this and they were simply forced to sell out huge amounts of their stocks and uh, I'm pretty sure Discovery was one of the stocks that was hit by this so this is basically the result of a huge huge worldwide margin call uh, on some very large uh, banks and hedge funds here and um, I think it could move up from here but again uh, this is the algorithm deciding it is not me personally then we have Marathon Oil um, they've had a couple of uh, i don't know if you could say rough days but of course the oil price is moving a bit down but again the uptrend is uh, fair and stable here on the weekly chart so uh, let's see where it goes mosaic um nothing much to say there i might not have picked it since it is a bit uh, below the 20 sma i do like these bounces off the 20 sma here so right now we're a bit below but then again this is a more long-term algorithm um, and that gives us let's see wasn't that the entire list yes we are back to the top here at Walgreens and um, I hope you find this a bit uh, as an inspirational um, video where you can get some inspiration for your own portfolio maybe some of these stocks were some you hadn't seen yourself and you might think to yourself that some of them have run too far in their trend but uh, then again uh, we have tested this quite uh, vigorously back to 2008 in all sorts of different uh, variations and um, the algorithm, ha algorithm has picked these 22 stocks and let's try and follow them remember you can all always follow me in here market time at DK uh, you can just have a look at how I'm uh, doing as you can see for the year here we are actually a bit in the negative oh you might not be able to see that but 0.8 percent or something in the negative but we are picking up steam here since we win uh, a risk on in the market and the first couple of months we actually i actually started in the last week of january so this is not a, an entire month february was the first complete month with around minus 2.5 percent my strategy here is uh, it is having around 75 percent of all months in the positive when we look back to 2008 and that of course means that we could easily have three maybe four months uh, per year in the negative so that is definitely not something that worries me all right um if you have any questions for me for the algorithm for anything about this just uh, feel free to put a note in here in the comment section below i'll put links to both the market timer part and uh, yeah all of the newsletter part down here and also to the building freedom facebook page if you want to follow me there all right that's it for now i will talk to you again very shortly take care of yourself and your money out there that's all for now bye